Persistence is a key component in the process of translating desire into monetary value. The power of will is the foundation of perseverance. When united properly, willpower and desire form an irresistible combo. Men who amass large riches are sometimes described as cold-blooded and vicious. They are frequently misunderstood. They have willpower, which they combine with tenacity and put behind their aspirations in order to achieve their goals. The majority of people are willing to abandon their goals and objectives at the first hint of adversity or disaster. A few always persevere in the face of adversity until they achieve their aim. The word persistency may not have a heroic connotation, yet the trait is to a man's character what carbon is to steel. One of the most common causes of failure is a lack of perseverance. Furthermore, experience with thousands of people has shown that a lack of persistence is a typical flaw among guys. It's a flaw that can be overcome with effort. The ease with which lack of persistence may be conquered will depend entirely upon the intensity of one's desire. The starting point of all achievement is desire. Keep this in mind always. In the same way that a small amount of fire produces a small amount of heat, weak desires produce weak results. If you find yourself lacking in tenacity, you can overcome this flaw by fanning the flames of your goals. If you find yourself indifferent, you can be confident that you have not yet attained the awareness that is required before you can be certain of amassing a wealth. Just like water gravitates to the ocean, fortunes gravitate to men whose minds have been prepared to attract them. See you will no longer be hampered by a lack of perseverance. After that, your subconscious mind works continuously, while you are awake and while you are asleep. You can't develop the necessary money consciousness any other way. Poverty attracts the person whose mind is friendly to it, just as money attracts the person whose mind has been consciously prepared to attract it. And both are attracted by the same laws. The mind that is not absorbed with money consciousness will be deliberately taken over by poverty consciousness. Without the purposeful application of poverty-friendly habits, a poverty consciousness arises. Unless one is born with such a consciousness, the money consciousness must be constructed to order. If you fully comprehend the implications of the above assertions, you will recognize the value of perseverance in the acquisition of wealth. You will be defeated even before you begin if you do not persevere. You will succeed if you persevere. If you've ever had a nightmare, you understand the need of perseverance. You're half awake in bed, feeling like you're about to be suffocated. You are unable to turn over or move a single muscle in your body. You understand you need to start regaining control of your muscles. You manage to move the fingers of one hand after a sustained exertion of determination. You can expand your control to the muscles of one arm by moving your fingers until you can lift it. Then, in the same way, you gain control of the opposite arm. You finally achieve control of one leg's muscles, which you then extend to the other. You regain entire control over your muscular system and snap out of your nightmare with a single great exertion of will. The trick has been gradually revealed. You may need to use a similar process to snap out of your mental lethargy, starting gently and gradually increasing your speed until you have complete control over your will. Be persistent no matter how slowly you may. With persistence will come success. If you choose your mastermind group carefully, you will find at least one individual who can help you build persistence. Some men who have amassed vast fortunes have done it out of necessity. They formed the practice of perseverance because they were forced to do so by circumstances. Persistence is the only way to succeed. It cannot be replaced by anything else. Remember this and it will give you encouragement when things seem difficult and slow at first. Those who have developed the habit of perseverance appear to be protected from failure. They eventually reach the top of the ladder, no matter how many times they are defeated. It appears that there is a hidden guide whose job it is to put men to the test by putting them through a variety of trying events. The secret guide allows no one to enjoy tremendous achievement without passing the persistence test. Those who lift themselves up after setback and keep trying will attain greatness in life. Those that are unable to cope simply do not pass. Those who can take it are rewarded handsomely for their perseverance. They are compensated for achieving whatever goal they are pursuing. And that's not all. They get something far more valuable than monetary compensation, the awareness that every failure carries the seed of an equal advantage. There is an exception to this rule. A select few people have personal experience with the value of perseverance. They are the ones who refuse to see failure as anything more than a blip on the radar. They are the ones whose ambitions are pursued with such zeal that defeat is eventually transformed into victory. We on the sidelines of life witness an overwhelming number of people who succumb to defeat. Never to rise again. We see a small number of people who use defeat as motivation to work more. Fortunately, these individuals never learn to accept life's reverse gear.
But what we don't see, and what most of us never suspect exists, is the unseen but powerful force that comes to the aid of those who persevere in the face of adversity. If we talk about this power at all, we refer to it as perseverance and leave it at that. We all know that if you don't have tenacity, you won't be able to attain notable achievement in any field. Because perseverance is a state of mind. It can be cultivated. Persistence, like all states of thought, has certain reasons. One of which is this. Knowing what one wants is the first, and probably, most crucial step in developing persistence. A great motivation forces one to overcome various obstacles. It is quite simple to develop and maintain persistence in pursuing an intensely desired thing. A person's belief in his or her ability to carry out a plan motivates them to stick to it. Even if the plans are feeble and completely impracticable, they urge perseverance. Persistence is aided by understanding that one's plans are sound. Based on experience or observation, persistence is harmed by guessing rather than knowing. Persistence is linked to empathy understanding, and peaceful collaboration with others. Persistence is the result of willpower, or the practice of focusing one's thoughts on the creation of strategies for achieving a specific goal. The mind absorbs and integrates the daily events that it feeds on. Fear, the most dangerous of all foes, can be effectively overcome by forcing oneself to repeat acts of bravery.